Hello Mansfield, I am Mayor Michael Evans with your recap of the October 23rd, 2023 City Council meeting. We had plenty of exceptional people to recognize on today. City Council had a proclamation in honor of our local Kiwanis Club, which is celebrating, listen to this, its 50th anniversary. That's 50 years of supporting those in need in Mansfield, especially the kids. We celebrated also the graduation of our most recent municipal University class. Uh, these residents spent the last 12 weeks learning all about our organization and what it requires to provide remarkable services and experiences here in Mansfield. And I hope you'll sign up for uh, our next program that will begin in August. City Council had the honor of presenting uh, challenge coins to 15 Mansfield youths who were recently commissioned in military service and are about to begin the next chapter of their lives. These folks exemplify the best traits of our community Community, and we wish them good luck and we pray God's blessings on them. We proclaimed October as National Code Compliance Month in Mansfield and we want to recognize the hard work of the men and women of our code compliance team. Uh, they, they make sure that our homes and businesses in Mansfield that they are safe. We also proclaim November 6th to the 10th as a Texas Municipal Courts Week and our staff do an excellent job making uh, what is a stressful experience uh, for most people uh, understandable and efficient. We held three public hearings and first readings for a zoning change requests. These require two readings and will return next meeting. We approved 11 consent agenda items, including a contract of almost $500,000 for entryway improvements at uh, Michael L. Skinner Sports Complex. A pair of contracts worth about $180,000 and about $65,000 with Freeze and Nichols, Inc. for professional services for the design and survey of East Seton Road and Bridge Hike and Bike Trail Study. A $102,000 contract for professional services for facility assessment and transition support with Kemper Sports. The City Council heard an update on recently created Mansfield Youth Council. This group of local teens is going to help us to get a good understanding of what we do here in Mansfield. Also, future land use plan and downtown streetscapes projects are going to be looked at and listened to by these young people. Now, staff is gearing up for this year's Veterans Day Parade and salute on November the 11th. Mark your calendars for what's shaping up to be a good family day out in the historic downtown Mansfield. Now, in the afternoon work sessions, we discussed the Cultural Arts Master Plan and the Mansfield 2040 Future Land Use Plan. Now, these documents will be up for adoption in the uh, uh, near future, and it's going to be vital in shaping our tomorrow in Mansfield. I also invite you to a future land use uh, plan open house starting at 4 30 p.m. Monday, October 30 at uh, BCB Live. Come learn more about who we are in Mansfield. And also you'll hear from Mr. Jeff Speck about urban planning and walkable streets. Well, look, that's it. That's it from the October 23rd City Council meeting. To watch the entire meeting, just visit us at mansfieldtexas.gov. Listen, we now know who's going to the World Series. So let me say this right now. Go Rangers, we want you to win this one. Do it not only for DFW, but for the entire state of Texas. Again, go Rangers. All right, until next time, I am blessed to serve as your mayor here in the great city of Mansfield, Texas. And listen, you all be safe, have a great time for Halloween, harvest festivals, all of that's taking place in our fair city on October 31st. Listen, make sure that you take care of those kids and have a great rest of the week. God bless you. Thank you for letting me serve you.